name is Niranjan and this is Champak's IQ where we teach you simple science experiments that you can try at home. Do you like playing with clay? Well, I love playing with clay. It's so much fun. You know, you can do whatever you want with it. But the worst part about clay is it sort of dries out and it flakes away. Well, I'm going to teach you how to make a, make a kind of clay that when it dries, actually stays solid. In fact, it's sort of like pottery, but only you don't have to worry about going and getting the clay and the potter's wheel and then baking it at the end of the day. You want to learn how to do this? Well, it's really simple. What are you going to need for this? You're going to need some breadcrumbs. I've got an empty bowl here to mix it in, some glue, and we're going to throw in a little bit of water so that it all mixes in nice and well. So let's get started with this, shall we? So first you take a little bit of breadcrumbs. Now the idea is not to get how much ever you need. The idea is to build on what on, on a little bit. So you take a little bit of bread, breadcrumbs, throw, throw in a little bit of glue. Yeah. More breadcrumbs. Then we start adding a little bit of water. Once we do that, we start mixing everything in. Now, once again, remember, if you throw in all the water at once, it's going to be really, really bad. It's going to get sticky and mushy and moist. So we add a little bit of water bit by bit and we start stirring it with our hands. You keep stirring and you realize these things start clumping up. So that means you, if it's, if it's too dry, you add a little more water. If it's too wet, you add a little bit of more breadcrumbs. So as you keep doing this, Now, got to go into it. Right? Try to make sure you keep it right on your fingers. Try not to get. It, try, try not to let it go into this area of your hand. And if you keep kneading it with your fingers, folding it over itself, over and over again, this thing is still. Is it just, just still a tiny bit too dry, too too wet? So I'm gonna add a little bit, of sprinkle some from the top. I'm gonna mix that stuff in nicely. And once you do that, you'll have something that looks like this, right? Now. If you notice, if you play with this hand, it still sticks to this hand because you know you got the existing particles all over it. Your hand still wet too, but put it, in a, put it on a dry hand. You'll realize it doesn't feel this exactly the same way anymore. It feels much nicer, you know, nice and dry. So it's easier. It becomes more pliable. You can play with it more. Let's keep folding it over itself over and over again. And see, got a nice smooth ball of clay, and you can do whatever you want with it. So what am I going to make with this? Well, I, well, Diwali is almost here, so I figured let's make some diyas. Now all you do is break a little piece off and you start pushing it inside so it becomes a sort of cup shaped. And as you push, you'll realize that it becomes thinner, but it doesn't fall apart. Purely because these particles are hanging on to each other. So once you've done that, pinch these edges together. Try to make sure they don't break much. There you go, the cute little dia here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this out in the sun for a while. What happens then is that we've added fevicol to this, right? So the fevicol is slowly going to harden. Once it's hardened, this is going to be rock solid. And you can actually pour oil inside, maybe leave a little bit of wet uh, of molten wax inside, turn this into a candle, turn this into an oil lamp. Completely up to you. You can even make small figurines like, like little ducks or elephants and whatever else. I mean, it's, it's, all, it's completely up to you. So what do you think? How do you think these dry breadcrumbs sort of became like this pliable clay here? Well, when you add water to the breadcrumbs, the particles start absorbing the water and become sort of jelly-like. Now, when you press two crumbs to together, because they become jelly-like, they stick together. And the glue we've added now is now spread evenly among all the particles. Now, you know what happens when glue dries. Now, if you leave this dia that I've made out for a while, it'll harden, it'll harden rock solid and it'll set. Now this smells brilliant, but please, please don't eat it. Try this at home. Tell me how it went. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have any questions, leave them there too. My name is Niranjan. This was Champak's IQ, brought to you by Champak and One Network. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.